Hello, and welcome back. Alex here, and I am bringing to you today another item review. Sorry, I don't know why my desk all of a sudden got all this dust. Anyway, another item review, this time for a new company who has just reached out to me, and I appreciate them for doing this. They're named Habor, Habor, H-A-B-O-R, anyway. Habor has sent me a kitchen timer to test out. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but a test is a test. It doesn't matter what comes after that. Anyway, I try to make a Dr. Seuss reference. I apologize for being so terrible at that. Uh, looking inside this box, the box there's nothing on it. It's a very simple box. It just says kitchen timer on the front and you got a picture of the kitchen timer. Um, looks pretty pretty slick. Uh, opening this up, the user manual is one-sided. Uh, has instructions on how to set the timers. And it looks like it's a dual purpose. A count up timer. I'm guessing that's a clock. And a countdown timer which is what we are normally used to calling a timer. Especially for the kitchen when you're cooking. Yeah, you want something to count down and then ding at the moment you want it, right? Alright, looks like it takes one AAA battery. So we'll set that aside. And let's take a look. There's nothing else in the box. This is very simple. Very simple package. <coughs> Excuse me. So setting that aside. Bust this open. Okay. I don't know how long I can look at this and try to decipher anything from it. Anyway, Habor. I, yep, I'm just going to say Habor from now on. Uh, looks like they used ABS plastic. Very rigid, very solid plastic. But it's easy to grip. Uh, I believe that's because of the type of plastic. I've had plastics that are really hard to grip. But, anyway. Uh, looking at the front, it looks like hour, minute, second. If you can, you can see that. Hour, minute, second. Start, stop, mode, and clear. Little logo that's a silk screen to the top. That is printed on that will come off at some time in the future with enough play, with enough rubbing and scratching. That'll come off. Um, flipping it over on the back, it doesn't look like there's anything else special, super special about this. It's a very plain item. So let's hope that all the functionality is legit. Uh, looks like they have a loop. I'm guessing for like, I don't know, a little rope or something. You can tie it around your neck. Hang it down like Flava Flav digital version. Um, it's got a stand and a magnet. The magnet, let's take this battery here, is enough to... Is it? Yeah, it is. It's enough to pick up a battery from the thin side. It's, it's not super strong, but it's strong enough to pick up a magnet, so it's strong enough to hold on to... Ooh... Okay, so my computer is steel case, and this isn't quite strong enough to hold on to that and hold itself up. It slides down very easily with its own body weight. So unfortunately, they could probably use a better magnet for that, or I have a good idea too. If they could just take these bumps off. They have... They have placed little bumps on here, which space it out about, I don't know, three millimeters past the magnet. Nah, it's like three millimeters up from the back, and the magnet sticks up a little bit, so maybe like a millimeter and a half from the magnet, which is enough. This magnet would be strong enough to hold on, but it's not holding on. It's not act physically touching anything, unfortunately. So, one downside to that. Second, ooh, I don't like the way that feels. Um, I guess second downside, what I see, 
unfortunately, again, is that they haven't used any kind of spring mechanism in here. This is strictly plastic on plastic action. This will wear down pretty quickly uh, with enough of this movement. But inside here, right? Autofocus, all right, cool. Yeah, you'll see that uh, right in... Uh, is it going to focus? Is it too close? I don't know. Anyway, right in there, there's a tiny little tab, and that's the only thing that's either stopping or starting this whole process of moving. And, oh, it looks like it shipped with a broken tab. The other side doesn't have a tab, so it just kind of folds and does whatever it does. Manufacturer defect, one single thing, not a big deal. It still stands. Yeah, it stands, and it's fine. All right. Now, I'm guessing that it's pretty simple. Yep, it's pretty simple to take that out. So you don't need that. Let's see if it sticks any... Yeah, that sticks much better to something, because the magnet's actually touching now. I think these nubs are just too big. Yeah, so if you take the stand off, you can stick this anywhere, because the magnet is finally touching at the top. No big deal there. Alright. In any case, let's put this back on, and get ourselves to... Don't put it upside down. get ourselves ah with the in crowd all right let's get a battery in this compartment here oh it started all right there we go oh it's counting up already okay well i guess we set the timer on or we set the uh, clock it is 512. Cool. Oh, so the seconds will keep ticking and you could just like set the seconds. Yeah, it'll just keep ticking regardless if you set it or not. That's kind of cool. Uh, can't clear, can't stop. So the only other option is to change modes. All right. Now, if none of you have used, if somebody hasn't used a timer before, I would definitely suggest using a timer. Set the seconds, start, stop, start, all right, let's hear it. Now, as tempting as it is to, oh, it tells you, time's up. As tempting as it is to just continue listening to this, it's it's oh, such a lovely tune. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. It goes on for ever, I think, until the battery dies, or until you stop it, whichever one comes first. All right, well, that is the Hubbard Kitchen Timer. Not too shabby. Uh, that's all I can do on camera right now, but I will take some time and test this out in my kitchen and provide some some uh, specification feedback the the reasonable listening distance like where where you can sit in the house and reasonably hear it you don't have to strain yourself it'll catch your attention kind of thing because that's kind of what you're looking for in a kitchen timer you want to be able to have your attention grabbed when you're cooking and not present in the kitchen but nearby. If you're reading a book, if you're watching your show but have it turned down, something should be loud enough, ear, piece, ear piercing enough to catch your attention. So, that having been said, I'm going to cut this video short here. Sorry about the short review, but really quickly, the Habor Kitchen Timer that's a uh, I'm guessing it goes up to 24 hours. <coughs> yep, 24 hours. Uh, it's actually like 23.59.59. Uh, so you can do 23.59.59. No biggie. 
and that's that's pretty much it. Okay, <clears throat> so this bad boy keeps time really well uh, over the past 72 hours. Um, there's been no slippage in the seconds on here. Uh, they still match what I've set it up to. And it's uh, having used this to, to cook and make pizzas and stuff, uh, we were able to set this on the fridge and it did stick just fine. So my computer apparently is the problem. So the tower, uh, sorry, I still have a little bit of rasp in my throat. Um, the tower is good, but not good enough for this. So anyway, oops. Oh, oh. Anyway, there was a count up. Oh yeah, you just started at zero. Okay. So uh, anyway, the, the computer tower is not good enough to hold this. But the fridge definitely was uh, with the with the backing here just flopped up. Um, we were able to place this on the fridge, and I could hear it from my office with the doors closed and my headphones on. So it's definitely loud enough to hear from across the house. Um, yeah, the timer on it is is spot on. Uh, has not fallen behind or gotten ahead, which is pretty much key for trying to keep those long f hours long. Uh, timers going, uh, something like your your uh, double boiler. No, sorry, your double boiler wouldn't be on for hours. If it is, you got problems. Um, no, the uh, what's it called? Pressure cookers or crock pots, anything like that. Something super big. Those are those are the ones that you're going to be keeping on for hours. And this is this is kind of crucial to have that kind of timing. So with that. Uh, I definitely give this a 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5, guys. I haven't uh, seen anything wrong with this. It's not like... It doesn't have any super fancy features on it, but it does exactly what it says it does. It counts up. It keeps time. And it counts down. And it's loud. So, there... Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to... Not to like this. That's it. Well, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if there's something about this that you would like to that you would like me to answer, and I'll go ahead and uh, do my best to catch those comments and answer them for you. Uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the the next video.